rumor has it you all love the shit out of me. Well, the feeling is mutual, kittens. We're gonna spend loads of quality time together today. No, not that kind of load. <laughs> Joshua Tube. Hello kittens, Joanne here. Today we're gonna talk about my favorite topic, prison. Jail to me is like a McDonald's funhouse. There's all kinds of twists and loops and slides, and you never know when someone's just gonna go, oops, licked you. <laughs> kittens, I've been to jail so many times it would make your head spin. You know, like that poltergeist bitch? Prison and I go together like macaroni and cheese. We're inseparable. I've been to prison so many times, I know the ins, the outs, the ups and downs, every pocket and crevice. <laughs> and we're gonna discuss it all today, so strap in, kid. Here are some of my thoughts on surviving and thriving in prison. The first way that you can survive prison is by simply not going. Don't go to jail, kittens. Trust me on this. It makes Orange is the New Black look like an episode of Sesame Street. I've learned that if you can't poop in privacy, then you shouldn't poop at all. And who doesn't love a good shit? If you do go to jail, remember, be weird as fuck. The stranger you are, the less people want to be around you. This takes some practice, kittens, but when you nail it, it's life-changing. The first time I was in prison, by day three, I had convinced everyone there that I was Lindsay Lohan. I didn't see a single shiv after that. They even gave me all kinds of goodies. Twinkies, a wiping rag, Pete's Dragon on VHS. When all else fails, spread your legs and say, I have crabs, come here. Another surefire way to survive prison, cry. I once cried for three days straight, and the guards felt so bad for me, they gave me a dog. And then the dog found my roommate's drugs, and then I got to live alone. Now that's what I call a birthday. While we're on the topic of guards, kittens, do not touch them. Let them touch you. <laughs> guards are people too, kittens, and they have very hard batons. So make friends with them. Ask them to braid your hair, invite them to a book club. What the fuck? Just go for it. Kittens, you have to keep yourself occupied in prison. One of the things I like to do is count the lines on my hands. There are 11,456,822. See how much of the Bible you can remember. Then yell at your cellmate when she gets everything wrong. I don't care what you say, Rhoda, there's no way a grown man can fit inside a fish. Don't you dare start quoting Leviticus at me, you slut. Verna, if you quote Corinthians at me one more time, whore, I'm gonna gut you like a fish. Here's a really fun thing I figured out to screw with the lunch ladies. Pretend like everything gives you food poisoning. They feed you water, vomit. Ladies, this apple gave me diarrhea for a week. What are we doing back there? If you really feel stuck, kittens, always feel empowered to write a letter to the guy in the White House. We know he's just sitting there eating a hamburger. Better yet, email his wife. Be like, Melania, girl, I'm sitting here rotting away for a crime I didn't even commit. That Taco Bell robbed itself. Please do me a solid. I know you've got nothing else to do. Please. She'll have you out of there before Trump's big thumbs finish typing about his huge crush on Barack. This is very important, kittens. You have to plan your escape. Even though digging your way out of prison is futile, I'm not going to tell you how I escape because I plan on using it again in the future, but I can tell you it involves a lot of cool whip. <laughs> Here are some little tips and tricks to make your time in prison a lot more bearable. Don't drop the soap. That's what they tell you at least, but you know me. <laughs> Do not try to recreate scenes from Fifty Shades Freed, kittens. I've done it and it hurts a lot. I loved it. <laughs> it is absolutely impossible to dig your way out of prison, kittens. I don't know who the fuck wrote Count of Monte Cristo, but I've tried it and it's bullshit. There's a lot of sitting around in prison, so what I find is helpful is making up imaginary friends. Also counting as high as you can. Once I got to 11. Try to make friends, kittens, but also remember nobody can be Trusted. You know what we did a lot? We reenacted Cell Block Tango. I chose to be the Hungarian whore. Meep Karishakel. Most were here to schlock and even lay of the topic fit. Even glacier like topic fit. Telemachus. A render shanking megmoraz. Do not do map. Yeah, but did you do it? Sure did! <laughs> Refuse to wear your orange jumpsuit. That'll make them punish you more. <laughs> a really good thing you can do in prison is start a book club. The first book we read in my book club was Moby Dick. I thought it was going to be the most fabulous erotica. But it wasn't about that at all. It was about a big fucking whale. I said, come on, where's the sex scene, Herman? You tease. I said, you can't name a book Moby Dick and make it about a creature of the sea and some freak chasing it with a harpoon. It certainly sounded like prison, but it wasn't at all what I expected. What did I do to get in prison, Philip? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> 
When you're in prison, what you're up against the most is time. You have so much time to sit there and think about everything. I like to reminisce on the reason I was in jail in the first place, which is robbing a Taco Bell. When you think about it, kittens, how dumb are people? I robbed the same Taco Bell 16 times. I ate so many of their cheesy gordita crunch wrap calzone quesadillas, I couldn't even run. They were chasing me down the freeway, I got a cramp, and then I fell. And that's why they really caught me, kittens. And now I'm never allowed in a Taco Bell ever again. One time Taco Bell catered a jail event and I said, who's laughing now, whore? <laughs> The silly thing is I'm banned for life from Taco Bell and I still go on the daily. I go all the time and you know what else I do? I shit in their can. I blow up their bathroom like it's my duty. Why would I ever want to go back to prison? Easy, I want to be cellmates with Lori Lachlan. <laughs> you know who I'd love to room with? Amorosa, oh, we'd have a blast. I'd yank on that hair, whore. Rip that weave off. Hope you're not attached to that weave, whore. The one thing is, kittens, you can't smoke in prison. Me and Delilah here would be so sad without each other. That's when you nuzzle up to the guards and you say, Pookie, please give me a ciggy. I need it. My soul needs it. You hear? I need it. If you do what the guards ask you, they'll give you anything you want. One time they gave me a pet snail. I said, what the fuck is this? They said, dig it open, you'll see some meth inside. I said, oh my god, Christmas! Pretend you have asthma. I went around all the time going, <coughs> oh my god, the shit people gave me. Combs, roses, Sour Patch Kids. Even got a harmonica once. Oh, I could play the shit out of that harmonica. I had plenty of time to practice, hold on. You have to get used to having diarrhea, kittens. There's just no other way around it. The food sucks. The toilets suck. They're not even very big. They don't flush. You just gotta kinda get used to it. Make it fun. Have a mud bath. Mud bath. If you don't wanna go to prison, the key is just not doing anything wrong. But what's the fun in that, I ask you? When I see a perfectly good Taco Bell, I have one thought and one thought only. Can't wait to empty that register. <laughs> Oh yes, I robbed, I robbed everything. Taco Bell, Coles, Wendy's, Sears, JC Penney's. The thing is, you gotta go in and you gotta say, help me, I'm lost. And they say, did you wander in from the nursing home, dear? And you say, I sure did. Which way do I have to go? And then as they lead you, you say, oh, diarrhea. <laughs> Where's your nearest restroom? And then they start showing you and then you hit that register on the way out and you rob the hell out of it. I've never actually paid at a restaurant, no. I have dined and dashed the same Applebee's 15 times. Thank you, high turnover. Over. <laughs> I stole a Barbie once from a Target. Oh, they chased me all the way up Manhattan. Oh yes, Martha Stewart was just a few cells down from me. Slut. She came up to my cell once and said, oh yes, I know exactly what to do in here. It was terrifying. Do you need to stop like that, bitch? I still have my shiv whore, you wanna see? Oh. Uh, Kittens, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you gleaned a lot of wonderful little gems from my time in prison. If you liked this video, you know exactly what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, do all of it. And if you want to hear more of my prison stories, just let me know. Just like herpes, I've got tons of them. Just remember, kittens, prison doesn't need to suck, but someday you might have to. <laughs> Prism and I, we have such an interesting relationship. For example, the infections that I get. <laughs> now you're to doll. <laughs> that is so funny. A Meg Morosny, denied a Kadok Mac. <laughs> yeah, but did you do it? Sure did! <laughs> I don't even know if I'm saying, I don't even. <laughs> I ate so many cheesy gordita crunch wrap supreme taco calzones, I couldn't even run! <laughs>